Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Studebaker Walkabout Stereo Cassette Player with AM FM Radio. I bought this at a flea market for just $5 a couple weeks ago. It didn't come in any package, it didn't come with earbuds, it only came with the radio and these uh, AA batteries. Uh, these were the original batteries that came with the radio. Uh, they're cheap Vinic brand alkaline AA batteries. Uh, they no longer work, but that's okay because I was able to get a, another set of batteries plus uh, I was able to find some earbuds and headphones around. I have a few of those around, so that's no big deal. And for $5 just for the radio, uh, seemed like a pretty good deal, so I figured... Why not uh, try this radio out? They actually still sell this radio on Amazon uh, between $30 and $35. I'll show you a picture of it. Here it is from Amazon. They sell for $34.88 plus tax on Amazon with most of the colors, rose and gold, Black and gold, teal and silver. The navy and sim silver is slightly cheaper, twenty nine eighty eight. To me, uh, it's a little pricey for how it performs, but for five dollars, I figured why not give this radio a try. So I'll give you the dimensions: three and five eighths of an inch in length, four and five eighths of an inch in height, and a depth of one and three quarter inches. Um, this is, of course, uh, the length, width, and height when it's stood up like this because that's where most of the uh, volume headphone control is. So, a little weird that they did it this way, even though most radios have it like this. But, it's still pretty neat. So, I'll give you some size comparisons. The Texan... PL-606. And the Supersonic SC-1080BT. Now, it has this nice uh, black and gold color here. I think that uh, looks pretty good. It has the Studebaker logo up here and then your AM and FM radio dial scale here. And then on the right, you have... Your headphone jack, headphone experience, uh, some low-level hiss, but it sounds pretty decent. It depends on the kind of headphones or earbuds that you use, because I found various hiss depending on the type that I used. But below it is a line-out jack in which you can actually put an auxiliary cable here and connect it to another radio or stereo system so you can play the radio or cassettes that way. I think that's a pretty good feature. Tuning wheel here. Pretty smooth. Band selector switch FM and AM. And then on both sides of the radio, you have this little notch here so you can open the cassette door and close it. Now, on the back of it, you have your Studebaker label here, SB3650. Let's see. Frequency uh, AM 530 to 1710, FM 88 to 108, although it does actually go down to 87.7, as that'll happen during my band scan. 
batteries, 3 volts, 2 AA batteries, and the AC adapter is DC 3 volts, 600 milliamp hours, uh, positive polarity. Below it is a, uh, is a clip. It's a nice gold clip, so that looks pretty good. And then, over here, your PAR-15 FCC guidelines here. A little diagram here of how the batteries are placed inside the radio, your AA batteries. It has a nice capture door, a little foam here. So the polarity, the positives go to the left on both batteries from this angle. And then, nothing on the bottom. And then on this side, you have your DC 3 volt jack positive polarity here, which you can get an AC adapter with 3 volts and plug that in. And then on the top of the radio, you have a volume wheel here, radio and tape switch here. And then, I'll turn it around to show you uh, the buttons, your play button, your fast forward button, and your stop button. There's no rewind, there's no record. So, what I'm going to do next is connect an auxiliary cable here to the line out jack here and then on the other side is a line in jack that's connected to my Eton Elite Executive which has line in so I can do it that way and what I'm going to do is play this cassette um there is actually a video that someone posted of this uh cassette it's about uh 22 minutes long on YouTube, and there was no copyright claim on it. I didn't see one, so I might be able to play some of this and get away with the copyright claim rules there. Anyway, this tape was made in two thousand, in uh, sorry, nineteen ninety-two. And it also came with a companion book, which I still have, uh, which is almost thirty years old itself is the front of the book here and then I'll show you the back of it here a little big for the screen but um, it's a pretty good book for a beginner so very helpful there so now I'm gonna play the audio right now fascinating hobbies in the world. You'll need to go through the book a few times to become familiar with the technical expressions, to know what to look for in a shortwave receiver, and how to use it for the greatest enjoyment. But right now, we'd like to give you a panoramic view of how shortwave works, what it's used for, what to listen for, and what some of the broadcasts sound like. And uh, that is it for that. I just wanted to play a little bit of this tape here. So to take out, just just go through a couple of these notches and take out the tape. So next I'm going to do a band scan. I'll do an FM1 first. Now of course I have to be quick because of copyright. So um, here's the volume wheel uh, You know, by the radio I have connected to it, and then the tuning wheel to the right. 
따뜻한 생사고 200만 불, 250만 불, 1200만 불 승소 신문에 관계없이 깨끗한 결과를 만들어드립니다 전문이란 결과가 말해줍니다 WNYZLD, New York City, uh, it's the audio of Channel 6 at 87.75 MHz. WBGO on 88.3 FM, WBGO.org, and on your mobile device. But our focus never fades. It's deadly, but we were born to defeat cancer. And if you're lucky, probably some like high type 2 or something, but they're usually just on... You can tell by looking at the, the tape, they're usually the normal brown. <laughs> What he wrote in 15, this sermon, he purposefully wrote it in German and had it printed in German. And the reason is very... WFME FM, Garden City, New York on 92.7, Family Radio. ...because they lived in darkness. Well, go... Wednesday, some residents in Abra province slept outside for safety. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is visiting the region. Asia's richest woman has lost more than half of... WNYC FM, New York City, 93.9. ...property sector. Yang Huiyan is the major shareholder in the real estate company... you look for, so. This is, we'll come back in a week. We'll come back in two weeks. We'll come back in five, six, WFAN FM, New York City, 101.9. It'll be part two in the Bronx, and we'll see what happens then. As Lord in your hearts, Always being ready to make a defense to everyone. That's right in 5-4. If you drive a big rig, you know that more time on the road means more money in your pocket. And that is it for FM. Um, now, um, it does a pretty decent job on FM. As a matter of fact, I'll give you an FM reception report. Uh, I actually got 50 stations, 41 okay to good, 9 weeks signal. So, it's a pretty decent performing FM radio. Uh, now, of course, you heard all those steps and all that. It's an analog scale, but it's actually a digital radio on a chip, but it's a DSP radio. That's why, I mean, even uh, this radio, the supersonic SC-10ABT, also has uh, those tuning steps on the radio. Although, this one handles it better than this one. Although, like I said, pretty decent performer on FM. Now let's go to the AM next, so... So I got to switch it back um, to AM. Now, um, right now it is uh, 1.34 AM Eastern Daylight Time from the northeastern part of New Jersey, or 0534 UTC. So uh, I kind of have to be careful because coast to coast AM is on, so I can't hover on that too long. But... Um, other than that, I should be good. So, let's turn on the radio here. So, what is good now? What is 
WMCA New York City, 570. My couple points in? You got it. All right, uh, Keith, you did a great job, I think, recovering yourself and describing how, um, you know, the big picture and, and, and how, um, the, in the scope of things, it doesn't mean as much. WFA in New York City, 660. I said, oh no, David Brenner did more than me, and maybe Rock. Most of these who are fishing in Mauritania, for example, they're circumnavigating a certain fishing. Yankees 3 2 on a walk off RBI single from Starling Marte. Seven strong innings for Max Scherzer culminated in WCBS 880 New York City. First, but then in the More in sports. Always technology on some towers is able to interrupt military communications and stuff like that. They've just announced that one, so that was uh, pretty exclusive release this week. So, is there a safe way to do this that we can trust that we know it's a safe way? Nine hundred CHML Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Going to be Trinity, just was not clear. Coney Island. Wins Newstime 137 Entertainment News coming up next with a first for Ed Sheeran. If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call... 1010 wins WINS New York City. But your balance is just not going down. Call Consolidated... Lights on airfield and Martian... A fire and rescue crews are just finishing cleaning up after a small single-engine plane crashed off the runway. Centerville, Austinville, Martinsville Fire Captain Ryan Morrison... WBZ 1030, Boston, Massachusetts. Wow. Selectivity is pretty good on this one. That's 1060 KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm surprised I'm getting on this. With 1050 next door. Melissa, it is, uh, I guess, a, a appropriate term would be Happy New Year. Yeah. Fans, fans are pouring in, players are falling out of the locker room, and here we are. Indeed, and I know you said it was steamy, but the good news is if you're headed out here to Owens Mills, we've got some... WBAL, Baltimore, Maryland, 1090. Wear your sunscreen, bring a hat, get ready for this weather, and it is so... Warehouses and staff through the... I, 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 I mean, it really. Okay, Yeah, they're fine, but also it's its own entity that people can choose to invest in. Seems like the numbers are on the wrong right now, but it might pick up over time. Yeah. WFED, Washington, D.C. WBKB Buffalo, New York. WWR in New York City. WWRU, Jersey City, 1660. And that is it. For the band scan of the AM dial, um, uh, AM 
not so great. Mainly good for local or strong signal stations, uh, weak signals, distant stations. Uh, not so great on it, especially you kind of heard it. It go in and out. Not not very uh, good and performer. Now during the day, I got twenty seven stations, twenty one okay to good and six weak signals. And at night, I got. 49 stations, 27 okay to good, and 22 weak signals, and uh, it was a bit of a tough time tuning the AM dial, a little tougher, at least the FM dial wasn't as tough to tune in, but the AM, it definitely is tough to tune in, especially if it's a weak signal. So, while it's decent on FM, not so great on AM. Now, as far as my final thoughts are concerned, um... For $5, hey, it's definitely a keeper for $5, but for $30 or $35, I have to say no. I gotta say no, I can't really recommend it at that price. But if you can get it used for a cheap price, I say, despite the uh, flawed and performance, I mean, if you're more of an FM listener or, or even a cassette player listener, I guess you can give it a try at least for five or ten dollars, maybe fifteen. But I would definitely not buy this radio off of Amazon. Now, since this is a used radio, I'm not going to rate it because of that. All I can say is whether I would buy the radio if it were regular price. And honestly, this is not something I would get at regular price. I can only give it a maybe. Because of that flaw in AM. I mean, even the cassette slightly sped up, but no more sped up than than if you were to compare a normal speed cassette like in New York Radio Z100 to a cassette being played and it sounds almost like KTU playing a song. So, it's not that much of a difference, but noticeable. So, uh, those are my final thoughts. Um... If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification to be informed of upcoming videos that I have. So uh, keep on the lookout for that. Have a good week, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. Bye bye.